How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review, and it's some uh, Carton O-Dub time. Some more Carton O-Dub time, because they've been varying, varianting the shit out of that beer, and which isn't a bad thing. So, uh, it's some O-Dub time in the form of their, what is it, 077, I'm going to forget this shit, i got to read it, uh, 08204, which is their El Dorado-based O-Dub. So yeah, a couple things first off. Uh, Carton come O-Dub series took off, so they started throwing out variants. They were throwing out variants to local shops that they did like uh, just uh, Six Hills 2. They started putting that in cans, which is a pretty cool thing to do. Um, I actually love like the Beast uh, quite a bit more than a lot of the variants they come out for, but that's just me being a little bit of a, I don't know what you want to call it. Two, um, I like me some El Dorado. And three, they this is the first time I think they've come out with an 08 Okay, and this is typically, uh, I forget what the O-Dub is, it's 0775653 or 553, I forget what it is, but it's the zip code in New Jersey, so you have the 077 dash, now this is the zip codes that they're distributing to that they did these beers in, and they're at 08204, I grew up in 08753, so once they throw down an 08753, I will jump all over that shit, I'll probably like it way more than I think I should, only because it's my hometown, regardless uh yeah what do we have in a can uh drink off the beaten craft wah, wah. uh oh oh or sorry 077-08204 east coast indian pale ale dry hopped with el dorado carton brewing the 077xx is our double ipa focus on harmonizing the extremes inherent in the nature of a American double IPA for the long-term drinkability the 08204 is a dubient turned up with an exclusive El Dorado dry hop inspired by the places that get it in Cape May. El Dorado sweetens O-Dub's mix of dank resins and tropical fruit aromas with a bright cherry tone. Um, o e 204 and extend the taster drink. I should put that beforehand. Label-wise, is awesome. It's carton. I love their labels. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see what the sucker has to offer. Throw it in a glass. Let's see what we got. This uh, comes courtesy of my beer dealer, George. Thank you very much, George, for heading down to um, Carton Brewing yet again. I've been there a couple times myself, but uh, George is a world traveler that never quits. So there you go. Rough pour into the glass. Um, you know, two fingers, the rockiest head in the history of mankind. I mean, it literally cascading kind of uh, a head on the edge of that, uh, leading to a nice creamy rocky top that is just off-white, and it's got a nice haze to it. I mean, if you're talking about your atypical New England haze kind of beer, it's not what you're going to get in this beer. Um, relatively clear, um, the ever-so-slightest bit of haze, ever-so-slightest bit of carbonation. So, yeah, not the haziest thing in the world, but that does not a good beer make or not make. It's all about the ingredients, how they put it together. So let's get a nose on it, see what she's got. Okay. So, they're talking about this big cherry note when you're talking about El Dorado. I'm getting more of a, like a tomato stocky kind of dank. Somewhere between tomato stock and weed. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting off the nose. Actually, you know what? I don't know if that's leading me there, but maybe I'm getting a little bit cherry now. But the, the initial knee jerk is that kind of somewhere between weed and tomato stock. I'll throw that little cherry in there. Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I will acquiesce to the label. I don't do that much. And I am getting a little bit in there. So, yeah. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you don't. Anyway. But other than that, it's very green. Very, dare I say, vegetal. I don't think so. But it's like that stinky kind of green stockiness I'm getting from this. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of sweet malt. And that's all you got. So, she looks cool. She smells really fun. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Much the same. I feel like I'm in a garden right now. I feel like I'm in, like actually hoeing in a garden to where you actually have like a lot of that like kind of like weedy kind of character. Not necessarily like dank like smoke weedy like actual like working in a garden kind of weed vibe. Stockiness, visible out the asshole, 
nice sweetness to it, but not overly sweet. A little bit stinging on the tongue, but that's pretty much it. Finishes super clean, super fast. Doesn't linger all that long, even though you get a bit of lingering on the tongue. It starts to build, actually, afterwards, so I shouldn't say it actually finishes super clean. A fun beer. Um, again, is it is it a beer that gained from dry hopping based off the, the base O-Dub? I think I have to go back and revisit the O-Dub now. Um, just to see how it kind of does with uh, some of these beers. Um, just because I feel like the the base has been my favorite out of the bunch. But now being, you know, three, four, five times removed from that with different variants. I think I need to go back and see where she's at. Uh, but at the same time, a, a fun twist on a beer that is pretty damn nice. Um, yeah, so other than that, I don't think there's much else for me to talk about. Just those nice kind of gardening notes, that kind of weed, non-herbal, non-marijuana kind of weed notes with a nice sweetness to it. Like I said, I can get down with that little bit of cherryness, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's talk about it. It's one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late. No, only because my my uh, loyalty, loyalties lie with a uh, the new school juiciness. I mean, you know, call me a fucking whatever, but... That's that's where my shit lies. Well, this is fantastic, and I would buy drink the shit out of it. it just kind of sits just in the outside looking in when it comes to some of my favorites, only because of personal taste. Uh, value and availability, it's carton. Uh, you have to go pretty much go to the brewery to get it, and if you do, you're probably looking right around fifteen dollars a four pack for this beer. And uh, if you like what well, you like this, if you fall on the you know kind of West Coast, I shouldn't even say West Coast. West Coast meets, meets East Coast dankier side of the tracks, then you'll like this. Uh, if you like El Dorado, if you like well-made beers, and if you just like fun beers, because, you know, that's what they're doing down there in Carton. They're making fun beers um, that are taste pretty damn good, and, uh, yeah, it'd be worth picking up if you're ever in the area. Or you could trade for it, or whatever you fucking people do out there. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice double IPA right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.